Hi guys, Marvin here from shopsidepage.com and as per your request, today we're going to do a quick unboxing and overview of the newly released Spectre Pro 34UW100 monitor. This is a 34-inch 1440p ultrawide 1500R curved monitor with VA panel, 100Hz refresh rate, and 5 milliseconds of response time. And I think it strikes the balance between productivity use and for casual gaming. With that said, let's get into it. Let's take a look at the packaging first. In front, we have a Spectre Pro branding right here and the model name right here at the right side. It is a 100Hz monitor and like most monitors from Spectre Pro, it also supports FreeSync technology. Down here, we have all the key features of this monitor. So it has a Quad HD 3440x1440p resolution with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. It also has a slim design, low blue light filter, flicker-free display, low power consumption with a dynamic contrast ratio of 16 million to 1. And thankfully, it is VESA mount compatible. At its side, we have all the specifications right here. Alright guys, let's see what comes inside this massive box. Opening the box from the top, we have a couple of items here that you can pull out. We have the V-shaped base right here made of metal with a few rubber feet underneath it. We also have the support bar with a rather thin footprint compared to the base of the Spectre Pro 27QT. But it does feel solid and is made of metal of course. Removing the styrofoam from the top, we have a few more items before we pull out the monitor itself. We have here a set of screws for mounting the V-base to the support bar and for mounting it to the monitor bracket itself and a few more for the VESA mounting option. We also have here a red plastic hanger for cable management. Inside the box, you also have here a power cable. There's no external power adapter because this monitor has a built-in power supply which I highly appreciate. We also have here a user manual that I find very useful especially for putting the stand together so you can be sure the monitor will be supported properly. And lastly, we also have here a display port cable which I really appreciate compared to if they ship this with an HDMI cable. Now, taking out the monitor is quite challenging since it is massive and I had to flip the box over so that I can pull the box like so while asking my wife to support the monitor so it won't fall at the side while I pull up the box. The monitor itself is nicely protected by this usual foam cover that we typically see on most electronics packaging. Like I said earlier, this monitor is VESA mount compatible and right here we have 4 mounting screws for that option. We also have smaller screws here for the support bar and base. Now, attaching the cable management hanger is pretty easy, you just have to slide it in like so and it should snap right in. Attaching the V-base to the support bar is super easy as well with just one screw required at the bottom. Now, removing the bracket at the back reveals 4 mounting holes for VESA compatibility which I am really happy about. Attaching the back bracket to the support base is super easy as well, requiring only two screws. Like with the Spectre Pro 27QT, this monitor also has a cover for the input and output ports, which even if you don't see it in front, is highly appreciated. Speaking of ports, as I said earlier, it has a built-in power supply right here, so there's no external power adapter required. We also have here a 3.5mm audio jack, one display port, and three HDMI ports. At the bottom, we have some vents for heat dissipation on both sides. We also have here at the bottom the buttons which unfortunately is not the joystick type but at least they are clicky and tactile and not mushy. Finally, installing the stand is pretty easy. Just guide it through the back of the monitor, push gently and it should snap right in. It does have some flex on it when you adjust the tilt as you can see but unlike the Spectre Pro 27QT, the mounting on this monitor is better at least for what I've experienced with both. Alright guys, as you can see I'm done setting up the monitor and for my first impression, it is massive and amazingly gorgeous and I feel like it fits my setup perfectly as you can see here. It does tilt forward and backward but since the base is very basic, it doesn't have height adjustment and doesn't rotate horizontally and vertically which is not a big deal for me especially at the size and curve. But I certainly would appreciate if there is a height adjustment option on this one. The bezels are thin which is nice and the stand albeit basic looks really clean as well without any gamery accents which I personally prefer. The menu buttons are hidden underneath which may pose some challenges but once you're able to set up the monitor, you'll barely touch this anyways. Now, I've mentioned in my review of the Spectre Pro 27QT that a curved monitor is not really that significant for 27 inches and below, but for this size at 34 inches with 1500R curve, you can definitely feel the immersion on this monitor. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I really like this monitor and I feel like this is perfect for the things I do. I mean, it is ultra wide which is perfect for productivity especially for video editing with tons of real estate, and with a 100Hz refresh rate, it is definitely decent for casual gaming as well. 
It also has a 1440p resolution and not just 1080p, which is decent for this 34-inch size. The colors, as for my first impression, looks really good and the viewing angles are decent as well for a VA panel. I also tested this real quick earlier for G-Sync and though it is not certified, it is definitely capable. Overall, I really like this monitor but unfortunately, it is not mine yet. ECPC just lent me this for review but to be honest, I like to have one and I think I cannot go back to 1080p 60Hz. But we'll see how it goes. I'll save all the other details for the full review because I want to test this further. I'll test this for productivity, gaming, and all the other things that weren't mentioned on this quick unboxing and first impressions. Thank you for watching guys. Subscribe if you're interested in the full review. Thanks to ECPC for sending this in. You can get this from their official store link below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like this. And see you next time. Have a great day.